this look familiar? Don't worry. All right, we're good. These rule breakers are just doing it for that camera. Good, good, good. And she's only acting, but it's by no means a far-fetched scenario. It's a hindrance all around to me. The one fear most older people have is falling. People ride e-scooters on sidewalks every day in Portland. Our sidewalks are supposed to be free and equal for anyone to move about freely in our city. To send that message, PBOT, Disability Rights Oregon, and Lime teamed up to shoot a video Monday. We really think if users really understood um, what was at stake by riding on the sidewalk or parking it poorly, that they would understand and stop doing it. They want you to stop riding e-scooters on sidewalks and parking them haphazardly across sidewalks and curb ramps. If a scooter is blocking one of those ramps, that limits a person's ability to get around the city. Not only is it against the law, but it's especially dangerous for people with disabilities. So if you're using a cane or a walker, um, it's a fall hazard. And Or if you're blind and you can't see them coming. You're causing these people trepidations. You know, you come, they hear this noise and here you are and they don't know what happened behind them. So where can you ride them in Portland? In the street or bike lane? When you're done, park them as close as you can to the curb, away from buildings, and leave at least three feet of space for people to get by. If you don't, you could get sighted. The problem is, a PBOT patroller has to catch you in the act. They can take photos and jot down the scooter number along with dates, times, and locations of where they saw it. They work with the e-scooter companies, like Lime, to get the warning or fine to the rider. The majority of um, instances where a rider is getting reported that they're not doing something right, they're unaware. Mm -hmm. So it's a great opportunity for us to tell them what they should be doing and what, how that differs from what they had done. Making riders aware in an effort to make Portland's streets safer for everyone. It's relatively new, and it's really providing a lot of people an alternative to using a car. PBOT says they've issued more than 500 warnings and penalties just since April. We want to know what you think in tonight's poll. Do you run into issues with how e-scooters are used in Portland? Head to KGW.com vote or click on the Vote Now tab in the KGW News app and vote yes or no.